guys, it's Sunday 20th of August, I'm absolutely freezing, I've just put on soaking wet clothes, soaking wet um, socks, shoes, I'm at the top of the mountain, I need to get down the mountain as quickly as possible to warm up and get moving, I don't have any water but I don't want to sit and filter water for like 10 minutes, so I'm just going to keep on keep on going, there should be lots of water along the way so it shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, 21 days to go. Uh, this is what the train is looking like. Dun dun dun. Okay, I'll keep you updated on progress. Right, right or left? That's water that way, not going that way. Oh, look at this amazing dog, it's so gorgeous. Hello, good morning gorgeous. How are we doing? Oh, one of the great things about um, a Persian trail is having dogs on the trail. They're so cute. Oh, there's two of them. Hello, good morning. No, it's awesome. I love it. So I stayed last night at Cooper's Lodge, which was, was okay. It was like four walls and clothes, etc. Um, the only problem was that basically those big, big uh, gaps in the wall where windows should be, but there's no window, so like the cold air, and you could see like the mist blowing in and just like wetting everything. And I'm really conscious about my sleeping bag, etc., not getting wet. Um, two guys there, father and son, who are walking the trail together, which was super sweet. I arrived at bang on nine o'clock, so my estimate was right. So basically, climbing hills or hills, mountains, I am about a mile every half hour so it did take me spot on two hours to to climb that massive mountain but the good thing news is this morning it's all going to be downhill which will be great i really want some sunshine i really need some sunshine we are going to be going through a town called killington and apparently there's like a deli which is about half a mile off trail i think i'm going to do it um but there may also be like a campsite along the way where i don't need to go off trail and i can just go and get something hopefully warm um still haven't had a shower or a proper wash for days and days and days and basically i'm almost thinking i might even get to the end of vermont and that will be three states without a shower but that is really really rank so there is one place i can stay there's, there's nowhere reasonable to basically stay. Everywhere's like $100. I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up and pay for one night because I need to have a wash and need to have a, need to have a shower. All right, where am I going? Uh, well, okay, I'm going this way. Churchill Scott Shelter, 4.5 miles down here. Following the white blazers. But guys, I have to say like psychologically, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Like, I know that sounds really weird. I don't know if it was just like breaking through that 500 mile barrier knowing that there's 500 miles to go. And the way I see it as well is, you knock off 100 miles of the 100 mile wilderness, which is pretty easy, so therefore it's 400 miles. F knock off five miles for Katahdin, so it's 300, and I've done an extra five miles, so it's 390 miles to get to like the, hundred, the start of the 100 mile wilderness. So as long as I need to average 24.5 miles an hour every single day, I know it's going to be tough in certain sections, but if I keep aiming for 25, 26, 27 miles every day, then it puts me in a really good place to, to get there and complete it in 100 days. So yes, feeling good, feeling strong, feeling positive. All right, let's get down this mountain, let's warm up because it normally takes about 10 minutes to get your yeah, blood flowing, although my right bum cheek is basically saying, no, we're not working today, because it, it's either not working or it's really painful or I've sat funny on it. Um, anyway, too much information. All right, chat to you later, bye. Guys, I feel incredibly weird. Like, I'm, I'm so not with it. Like a, ugh. I feel as though like I'm stumbling. Oh. God. <laughs> this is the weirdest feeling. I've eaten, I've drunken. But, oh. I do not feel like a good, a good place. I'm not sure I'm gonna throw up. I feel so woozy. Um, the road is coming up 
<sighs> hey guys, I did not feel good before, like no idea. I've just, um, I've just reached the road. Uh, just past 1,700 miles. You can probably hear the traffic in the background. I've just sat, like, just sat down for a little bit just to try and um, just stop the wooziness. No idea what it is. The only thing it could possibly be is maybe electrolytes. I'm going to take another magnesium um, tablet. But the time now is uh, 19 minutes past 10. Sunday, 20th of August. Oh, the plan today is to get to a place called Wintery Shelter, which is 1,720. So actually I've only got about 21 miles to go because I've already bashed out about five already this morning. But yeah, I'm not feeling in a good place and I don't know what it is. And it was so funny, I kept passing like loads of people. I was like having to sit down like maybe every like 20, 30 steps on a rock and just be like. <sighs> and I kept passing loads of people who were slap packing or just out for the day. And they're like, oh, you're so close to the road. You're so close to the road and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, I, yeah. I've already walked like 1,700 miles in 80 odd days, 79 days. My legs are feeling it. My feet are feeling it. My head is feeling it. My hands are feeling it. My stomach is feeling it. Every part of my body is feeling it, but I'm still feeling positive. Okay, that's where we're going to be carrying uh, what, on to next. Once I'm going to give myself like another 10 minutes or so, I just need to, I don't know, compose myself. <laughs> okay, guys, we're just walking around this beautiful lake, and I'm basically looking for this side trail. Um, which is 0.3 away from this town called Killington and in Killington there is an Outfitters and there is a deli and I'm also hoping Wi-Fi so I'm gonna look to get the ends of my poles fixed at the Outfitters because they've both gone and get a new pair of shoes because these ones have done about 700 miles and I've got about you know obviously less than 500 to go so they're not gonna make it so I need to get my fourth pair of shoes the Appalachian Trail so if we can get New shoes, poles fixed, fed at the deli, Wi-Fi to download some podcasts and to also upload some more videos, um, then it will be good. I just don't want to miss this side trail. Oh, I hate going off the trail, but I think this point three will be worth it. I'll let you know when I have to do my one of my least favourite things, shopping, but we'll get through it. Fingers crossed they'll have some shoes that will work for me. Okay. Let's carry on going. Here we go, hiking supplies, 10 minutes, follow BCO sign. Guys, I've made it to the Outfitters. I've got some darn tough socks, which I'm putting on, trying on a pair of these gorgeous blue shoes. No idea what the brand is, but they've got a bit of thumb room. They feel, to be fair, they feel great. So done and dusted, boom, like less than two minutes. <laughs> Oh, it's time to say goodbye to these stinky, dirty shoes which have completely, basically fallen apart. Look at that. Um, bye bye. Dead and buried. Oh. Hey guys, I've been sat like a hobo outside. It looks like a welcome centre, but it has Wi Fi, so I'm just sat here trying to download podcasts, but it's not that strong. Smashed down my lunch, getting some electrolytes. Time is oh, 1.30, I'm gonna to have to make a move because I've got like 20 miles to do and I've got lots of walking to do. So I'm gonna move soon back to the trail. Just walking along the boardwalk. Check out the views. Although I think I'm climbing that mountain in front of me and it is a mountain. It's getting bigger and bigger the closer I get to it. Ah, oh, glorious day, the sky is blue, the sun is shining. This is where I want to get to, Winturi Shelter. 14.2 baby! So, left the boardwalk about an hour and a half ago. Meant to be half a mile climb up a mountain. I'm still climbing. Oh, and I'm out of rhythm or flow or whatever you call it. It is so difficult to get going, even with my 
special blue shoes on. Oh my goodness. When am I going to get to the summit of this mountain? Oh! Guys, finally we've reached the shelter, the first shelter, Stony Brook shelter. I'm not even staying here. That 3.8 mile stretch has gone on for miles and miles and miles. I mean, they, it was like they put in like loads of new, um, new pathways, but I'm just wondering how accurately they've measured it because I feel as so if that was like a six mile epic rather than 3.8. So still got nine miles to go. Ooh. So heading downhill now, downhill to a road, then I come out the road and then it's back up the hill. I'm not gonna call them mountains, I'm gonna call them little hills, little tiny hills. I just need to go up by a couple of thousand meters, but you know, it's all good, it's all good. Okay, let's keep moving forward. I'm assuming this is the way, down the ladder. <laughs> Fun! Guys, it is 5.30, we have made it to the road, but now I'm still like eight and a half miles away and it is a big climb, flat, climb, flat, climb, flat, climb, shelter. Let's cross over the bridge and get to this mountain. Booyah! Guys, the time is 7.04 and I've just reached like the road. So I've just done this like massive hill climb. Oh, oh, it's so nice to sit down. I packed out a bagel. I'm going to chow down on my bagel before I have a climb. And then there's basically like, I've got about five miles to, to do. One mile climb, three miles flat, which I'm hoping I can blast. And then a short little climb to get to the shelter. <sighs> okay, let me eat my bagel with cream cheese. Yeah. All right, guys, give me a mini update. This is a stream. I'm filtering my water. I'm sat on my soya filter because that's the quickest and easiest way to do it. I'm also eating a gummy worm because I love them. Although after this trail, I never want to see sweets or sugar or chocolate ever again. Um, it's about 20 past, sorry, sorry I'm muting. It's about 20 past seven. Not sure if I'm going to be able to update you later. But if I don't, thank you so much for watching the vlogs. I really appreciate all your likes, um, your comments. Please subscribe. Big shout out to Flynn. He does an incredible job editing. Um, keep watching the journey. 21 days to go to reach Mount Katahdin. Um, I'll update you. Oh, I'm going to guess because it took me four miles yesterday in two hours. But, but this one, I think it's going to take because I've got five miles to go and it's a bigger climb. So I'm either going to get there, but I think between like 9.30 and 10 o'clock. So I'm probably going to wake everybody up in the shelter. So, oops, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to power on through, get to the shelter up a fast three miles, hopefully in the middle, but it will be dark by then. So I don't know how quickly I can move. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow for another daily vlog of my 100 day challenge of through hiking the Appalachian Trail. Chat to you later. Bye.